Hello friend, welcome to Marine Engineering Hub. This is your narrator Ravi Gupta. Today we are going to talk about scavenging. What is scavenging and how does it take place? After that we will talk about supercharging. What do you mean by supercharging and why the supercharging is important? While discussing the supercharging, I will also tell you about the invention of turbo charger. How turbo charger come into the picture basically this is a series which i am going to start on turbo charger so right now i have finished propeller series in which i have explained each and everything top to bottom from introductory to the advanced level about the propeller shaft covering every topic so if you want to know please see in my description box you will find the playlist okay Let's begin the today video of scavenging. So, if somebody asks you what do you mean by scavenging, you should say scavenging is a process in which low pressure air from the turbo blower or scavenge pump drive out the remaining waste exhaust gas of combustion and fill the combustion space with the clean fresh air for next compression stroke. So, scavenging have a two function first it will drive out the remaining exhaust gas means after the combustion and after the power stroke when the expansion has taken place at that time the remaining exhaust gas is been going out through exhaust valve the scavenger help the remaining exhaust gas to drive out through exhaust valve so that it can help to refill the combustion space again with the fresh air and make it ready for its next cycle of combustion. So scavenging do two things. First, it drive out the waste exhaust gas and second, it fill the combustion space with the fresh air for the next compression stroke. So if the surveyor asks you what is scavenging, you should must say these two things. First, scavenging process involves driving out the remaining exhaust gas which has been left. You should use the term waste exhaust gas, the very important keyword. Okay. And next thing you should add that after the gas waste exhaust gas has been drived out. It should be refilled with the fresh air for the next compression stroke. Okay, now how this uh, waste air is been removed? To remove the waste air, the ch incoming charge air should have some pressure, and from where this pressure has been developed, this method is called supercharging. Okay, so if somebody asks you what is supercharging, supercharging means to charge the cylinder with fresh air at a pressure above the atmosphere after the scavenging is completed is very important it means that supercharge in supercharging we are pressurizing the incoming air above the atmospheric air and that air is being used for the combustion purpose okay now now i have told you about supercharging the question comes to our mind that how we are doing it? how we are pressurizing the fresh air from the atmosphere to the above the atmospheric pressure so we are using a technology known as turbo charging and in some case we are using under piston or scavenge pump okay so let's talk about that so what why supercharging is important means if somebody asks you first what is supercharging you should say this thing and now if somebody say that why means why do we need supercharging and what are the advantage of supercharging in that case you should say with the help of supercharging more mass of air at a higher pressure is made available to the engine for compression so that more fuel can be burned and more power obtained for the same size of cylinder very very important so what do I mean by that? It means that in this combustion space, suppose in this combustion space, if there is no supercharged air is there, so 
suppose if there is no supercharged air it can it will hold 1 kg of air now with the help of four supercharging with the help of supercharging method we are holding in this combustion phase 5 kg of air so the amount of power generated without supercharging with 1 kg of air and the amount of power generated with 5 kg of supercharging is different means is more means with the help of supercharging as the amount of air stored inside the combustion space is increased so the amount of fuel burn can also be increased and hence the power overall power developed by the same size of the cylinder or same size of the engine output will be increased and hence the overall engine performance will increase okay so same thing i have written here does mean we are obtaining more power without increasing corresponding weight of the engine so the power generation of the engine for the same design is increased with the help of supercharging so i think now it's clear that why supercharging is important and why the turbocharger development has taken place turbocharger development has taken place so that more power can be extracted from the same engine with by developing by burning more fuel in a same engine okay so see let's see how we are doing it first what we are doing this ambient air incoming ambient air is been pressurized by the in by the air compression this air compression this compressor is been driven by the remaining exhaust gas which coming out from the cylinder waste exhaust gas is driving this turbocharger and that turbine will when drive is driving at that time the other end is connected to a compressor wheel the incoming air is been compressed and is sent to the charge air cooler this charge air cooler is cooling the incoming air compressed air why because the air which is been compressed there is an increase in your temperature that temperature is need to be decreased so that it can burn large amount of air having large oxygen content mass of air so we are cooling it down from 125 degrees celsius to 45 degrees celsius and then it is burned inside the engine so this is how the whole cycle is work working the exhaust gas is coming driving the turbine wheel on the other end of the turbine wheel compressor is installed which is compressing the air the charge air cooler is cooling it and again it is going to the engine for generation of the power this cycle will continue to work as the engine will continue to run now in two stroke engine at the expansion stroke the piston first uncover the exhaust port okay now let's see how supercharging is taking place in the two stroke engine so what is happening at the expansion stroke the exhaust port is uncovered okay the exhaust port is getting uncovered at that time what is happening there is a instantaneous drop of pressure in the cylinder the exhaust gas begin escaping through the exhaust port okay now there is a exhaust valve here and as the cylinder is coming to the bdc the exhaust gas will is going out okay the exhaust gas is going out as you can see the exhaust gas is going out now after what is happening let's see then the scavenge port is uncovered then the charge air pressure above the atmosphere supplied by turbocharger or scavenge pump is admitted through scavenge port the cylinder is cleaned of the exhaust gas by the incoming air and also filled up with the fresh uncontaminated air in the readiness for the next compression stroke this is how the scavenging process is completed as i have told you after the exhaust the remaining exhaust is been driven out by the as the exhaust valve will open 
the remaining power stroke exhaust gas will be taken out and while the piston continue to move in the BDC as it uncover the scavenge port the pressurized air from the turbocharger being which is being cooled by charged air cooler is coming inside and it is driving out the remaining exhaust gas and as the exhaust valve will close the piston will move up as it move up it will first cover the scavenge port as the scavenge port is covered the amount of air which has been filled in the combustion strip combustion space will undergo the compression stroke this compression stroke will begin and as it reaches the tdc the fuel injection will begin and here the mixing will take place and combustion will take place and as the combustion will take place it will cause a power stroke that power stroke will drive the cylinder downward and it will come to the exhaust point and the exhaust valve will open this cycle will continue exhaust intake compression power okay now the piston being while in compression stroke the charge is admitted through scavenge port till scavenge port is covered this marks the beginning of compression stroke at the beginning of compression stroke the cylinder contains fresh air under pressure equal to the charge air pressure supplied by turbocharger and thus the cylinder is supercharged so basically here i am trying to explain the two process mainly scavenging and supercharging so first what is happening as the piston is moving downward the exhaust valve is opening and the remaining exhaust gas is going out but as the piston continue to move down and as it uncover the scavenge port the incoming air scavenge air will drive out the remaining exhaust gas and as it drive out it also drive out the remaining gas and as the exhaust valve will close it will fill up the combustion space with the fresh air now as it will move up the piston color to move up as it cover the port this begin mark the beginning of compression stroke okay so i hope in this video you understand that what are the importance of supercharging what are the importance of scavenging and why supercharging is important and carried out in the two stroke engine and how a two stroke cycle work if you have any doubt please comment in the description box i will reply to that please friend please do subscribe and please do share so that you can encourage us so that we keep on posting the video like this please share on your facebook and whatsapp platform and please subscribe those who are subscribe please share the video as much as you can so that our marine friend can come to know this platform so that all of them have a chance to enhance their knowledge thank you friend have a good day